What is dividend growth investing? You've probably seen it a lot on financial blogs or personal finance blogs. So let's talk about what it is. Dividend growth investing can be summarized in just one basic sentence. Dividend investing is all about investing in stocks that can continually pay and increase dividends for multiple decades. Now that sounds simple enough, right? It's because it is. Most people overcomplicate investing. That's how brokerage firms and hedge funds make money. They pitch sophisticated investment strategies so they can justify high fees. Dividend growth investing is one of the easier investment strategies to reach retirement. So what are dividends? When company has excess cash, they sometimes like to distribute profits back to shareholders as dividends. Most companies pay dividends on a regular basis. Dividends are typically paid on a quarterly basis, although some pay on a monthly, semi-annual, or even annual basis. So why are, dividend, why are dividends great? Well, consider this. There are two ways to make money in the stock market, right? Dividends and capital gains. So what's so great about dividends? Well, for one, dividends are guaranteed. Once you get paid a dividend, no one can take it away from you. Nothing beats cash flow. Capital gains are another story. Paper gains are not guaranteed at all. In fact, they can vanish in an instant. Dividends are also a great source of passive income. Imagine getting a dividend check while you're relaxing with friends and your family. You're basically getting paid to hold a stock. The third reason is that dividends receive favorable tax treatment in the U.S., meaning they're taxed below the ordinary, your ordinary income rate. Dividends can be taxed as low as 0% and as high as 20%, depending on how much you make. Now, the great thing about dividend stocks is that they perform, outperform the market over time. Now, there's actually an index that tracks the return of large dividend aristocrats. It's called the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrat Index. Now, this index only includes S&P 500 companies that have increased the regular dividend payments for at least 25 years, 25 consecutive years. So let's compare their performance to the regular S&P 500 index and see how both performed. Take a look and see how the dividend aristocrats completely destroyed the S&P 500 in returns. If you invested $100 in S&P 500 index 10 years ago, you would have $197.91 today. But if you invested $100 in the S&P 500 dividend, dividend aristocrats index, you would have $254.25 today. That's a big difference. Now, a lot of people ask if they can retire off dividends. Now, that's a million dollar question. The answer is yes but it requires hard work. It's not a get rich quick, uh, quick scheme. It requires many levels, uh, hard work and many years of work to reach that level. Dividends are a great way to fund your retirement lifestyle without dipping into your principal. This is because most companies pay dividends on a regular basis, so you're getting constant cash flow. Let's go through an example. Let's say you and your partner have a $2 million portfolio of investments and you're in the 15% tax bracket. Also assume you've built a portfolio that yields a 2.5% dividend yield, which is actually very, very doable and pretty low. This means you'll have $42,500 to fund your daily living expenses and retirement for life. Two point, as I said before, 2.5% is actually a pretty low yield. In fact, it's really easy to build a dividend portfolio that yields closer to 3 to 4% without taking too much additional risk. Say at a 4% yield, you'll actually have $68,000 to spend annually for retirement. And that's without dipping into your principal by selling your stock. Now that's not even the best part of dividend growth investing. Remember, it's not called dividend growth investing just for the fun of it. Many high quality dividend stocks actually increase their dividends over time. Let's consider Microsoft. 
In 2007, Microsoft was paying a 10 cent uh, per share div quarterly dividend. And 10 years later, in 2017, they're paying, they're now paying 30, 39 cents per share on a quarterly basis. That's growth of over 29% a year. Many high quality dividend stocks not only pay dividends for multiple decades, but they also increase them. Imagine just getting a raise for holding a stock for the long term. Dividend growth is why dividend growth investing is such a powerful investment strategy. The growth in dividends not only offsets the impact of inflation, but they also help fund your daily living expenses in a tax-efficient manner. Now, if you want to learn more about dividend growth investing, be sure to check out my website at dividendgrowthmasters.com. And if you want to learn how to achieve passive income retirement, through dividend growth investing, be sure to check out my dividend investing bootcamp course. I've included a link to both in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys.